Hi, I'm Stan Winston. Welcome to this behind-the-scenes look at the future mutant action figure from Teenage Caveman. When a band of teenagers leave their cave homes in search of a new life, they encounter a trio of seemingly perfect humans. But these perfect humans are actually genetic experiments and can turn into frightening creatures. I've always said that we don't do effects here at Stan Winston Studio. We do characters. There's a big difference. Characters are part of the story. They have their own agenda. They have personality. So when we started Stan Winston Creatures with the idea to make the coolest toys anyone has ever seen, we brought that same idea over. We weren't just going to make toys. We were going to make characters. They all have different poses, different attitudes. We want them all to be cool in their own way. Teenage Caveman is pure post-apocalyptic science fiction. It plays in the horror of what could happen to the world and people in the not too distant future. This future mutant starts out as the character Neil. Neil is a perfect human specimen, but because he's the product of a genetic experiment, he turns into a huge muscle freak, and he gets completely out of control. We've done a lot of characters through the years like this. This was a combination of suit and makeup which really influences the design. We took the approach of creating this asymmetrical figure. We made him twisted, deformed, the elephant man approach where everything's not perfect. Then you mix in the science fiction, the experiment elements, and he becomes a classic mutant. We actually finished the toy before we finished the character from the movie. Joey Orozco sculpted the action figure and John Rosenberg created the base. Actually, the action figure turned out so good, we used it as the reference for the full-size creature. The base for this character really tells us a lot about the setting. Since it's in the future and everything has been destroyed, we put in little details and touches, like the manhole cover and the remnants of the teddy bear. There's something kind of sad about it, which contrasts with how scary the creature is. The pose of the mutant is really fantastic. He's driven by anger and rage, and we sculpted all of that into the expression in his face. All those details are important. You should be able to just look at it and figure out the story. Teenage Caveman is really a futuristic Jekyll and Hyde. It's a classic, timeless theme. It's an idea that's always interesting. It's about the uncontrollable monsters inside. So we take this character, put him in the future, and then all hell breaks loose.